In this demonstration, we will complete the MRP record for item uh, C and E. So here we have four uh, or five lines, gross requirements, project available, net requirements, planned order received and planned order release. Uh, for the item C, we already have a projected available of 10 uh, items from week one to week uh, two. And we need to determine if the projected available will uh, still uh, remain available in week three. So let's start by the finding the net requirements for item C. The net requirements for item C is calculated from the gross requirement, which is uh, 30 uh, units. And considering that we already have 10 units in the inventory as uh, available, so the net requirement will be 20. This projected available remain available until the uh, the schedule uh, receipt. The schedule receipt should be, or the planned receipt should be scheduled at week four. And considering we look here, what is the lead time for C? The lead time is two weeks. So the planned order release should be offset here in week two. The C is the parent for E. So we need to prepare E uh, before at the beginning of week two because the release of C is planned in week two. So here we put the gross requirement for E is 20. Projected available, we don't have any projected available, so zero. The net will be the same as the gross requirement because we have nothing in the stock, so 20. The planned order received should be scheduled in week two uh, because we needed to make item C. And the order release, we will check what is the lead time for E. It's one week, so here we put 20 units. Now we completed the records, the MRP records for two items C and E.